Hey guys, it's Rachel from Little Ring Lamp. Today I have a book review on Collateral by Alan Hopkins. And also, if the lighting's changing, I'm really sorry about that. It just keeps the clouds keep going over the sun, and every time I film this happens, it seems like. Anyway, this book was pretty good. Um, I'm going to discuss this. This is a spoiler free review, and if you're new, my book reviews are just your refresher. I read my books in five different categories plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall. In terms of ringing, five out of five, not so soon, one out of five. So basically this book is about Ashley and basically she, you hear about her relationship. I'm just reading this in the inside flap because I don't want to spoil it because I didn't really read the inside flap before I started reading it. I read it when I originally bought it but not before reading. And basically she's dating Cole who's in the military, he's a marine. And basically the relationship involves over the years, he, their relationship survives for employments and he wants Ashley to marry him. But she meets another man who has similar pursuits and values and she begins to see what life might be like outside the shadow of war. So this book, one of the things I really liked about this book was the author even has an author note at the beginning where she discusses um, the research she put into this book. It was researched meticulously and I really enjoyed the aspect of this because I don't know much about the war and I'm also like, I, yeah, I don't really know much about like the war and like what the, like, the battalions like where they go that kind of thing like I know kind of some of it but also I'm not in America so I don't know as much about that for those reasons like I know I could check it out but I just haven't um basically I the other thing I really liked about this book was it doesn't get into harping on like the war like it's not like I was kind of scared I like I didn't know what to expect I didn't want to be like war propaganda like saying like this is the good thing to do for your country this like like I didn't want to be like that kind of book where it's preaching at me preaching at me I want to see exactly what I got which it was the effects on the people that are in the war and the people that are left behind I want to see that I didn't want to be like anti-war and I didn't want to be all for war I want to be like a true representation I didn't want it to sway once I want to be at a level field like obviously there's pros and cons to each um, viewpoint and I'm not going to get into my viewpoint because I don't want this video to be controversial um well I don't even know if my viewpoint would be controversial. Who knows? But we're not going to get into my own feelings about war and all that because I took a class in that last semester and I don't want to relive that class because that class. So plot, I give a 3.5 out of 5. I really like the plot for the most part, but I felt like it was going near a solid 4. But it had like present day, then it went back in the past, present day, but the ending wrapped up so quickly. It got down to page, I think there's, I forget how many pages there are in this book. Let's see. I went to page like 460 and it was like speeding up super fast and then 480 I'm like this is what what, what happened like it kind of sped up really fast but for the most part I really like the plot I liked seeing you read mostly in Ashley's perspective but you got to see Cole's perspective and see the effects of war on like not only usually you only hear about the military side the effects and you hear about the person like missing the person like waiting for the person to come home but this one you got more layers into that which I really did enjoy because you don't often hear that side of the story. I was really comparing this book as I was reading it to Dear John by Nicholas Sparks, which I know um, is quite a different tale, but just you also were hearing from John's perspective, predominantly if I can remember, and not the girl's perspective, but I think it was kind of back and forth, but I feel like this was a more layered um, portrayal of what actually they go through. Like, I don't know for sure, but this felt more real and more what their emotions would go through because obviously I've never experienced this. I don't know anybody, you know, fighting. Um, yeah, I don't know anybody, nobody in my family is, like, we don't, there, people still enlist, obviously, here, but I feel like it's more discussed in America, maybe, I don't know, I don't, a lot of people don't discuss war that much here, or at least maybe the people I'm talking to or my, like, family and stuff, um, so, like, I, it was very interesting because I never had to experience something like that, like, um, but I know what it feels like to miss, so that's something I guess I can relate to, but basically, yeah, I really like how the plot went. I really like the rewinds and the fast forwards. I just felt like some parts were a little laggy, they were a little slow, or some parts were very emotional where I had to step back from it. Um, but that's not a fault against the book. Characters, I give a 5 of 5. The characterization was very well done in this book. I really enjoyed it. I didn't always agree with the characters' decisions, and I didn't always like what the characters did, but I thought it was very true to what they could. this person could potentially go through if this was a real person. And they weren't my favorite characters in the land for like their personalities, but I can't not give the, the characterization 5 of 5 because the author did a fabulous job at dissecting what these people feel like. I feel like this author is really good at like kind of getting into the human emotions on certain topics. Like even with the Crank trilogy, like I don't agree 
with like I'm very much against like drug culture like everything like even down to alcohol like I don't mess with any of it so when I was reading that I was kind of worried I didn't want to be glamorized but I feel like this author doesn't glamorize she really just tells Drew she tells it like it is even if she may not have the experiences because I don't know what she's gone through like it feels like she could have all these experience well all these like things like she knows like it feels like she it's like really true to what would happen it doesn't glamorize because life isn't glamorous um so that's what i enjoyed sorry if that was kind of rambly because like i don't know i just find this author very very good at her characterization which i really commend her for um obviously though she doesn't need my approval on that but i just really like that about that about her writing and um, cover i give a one out of five i don't really like this cover it's kind of like yeah it does represent it but it just looks like a very like it looks like what I would expect Dear John's cover to look like, you know? Like kind of like a love story, which this story is like a love story, but there is a lot of emotions on top of that. It's not just like a cutesy love story. Um, it's just okay, like, yeah, you know, one out of five. I'm not really too jazzed about this cover. Like it does match the mood of it, but it's just not something I gravitate towards. I more gravitate towards because I saw the plot and it was, you know, a good deal. So I really want to read it. Um, and then suspense, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. The suspense can be reading, but because you kind of know what happens in the inside flap, you're just kind of like building up to that. So it's kind of like not keeping you as focused, but it still made me want to keep reading it. It's just like, because I know what's going to happen, I can set it down. You know, like I know what kind of is going to happen, but then like I can kind of guess what's going to happen at the end. You know, that kind of Overall, thing. I give this book, you know, a 4 out of 5. This definitely has readability, read, readability, rereadability rereadability yeah rereadability and i'm definitely going to reread this in the future alan Hopkins books not only are they written in verse so it makes it faster to read through but they're very enjoyable well it's kind of weird saying it's an enjoyable tale because the ones i've read by her are very like just like not very like they're enjoyable to read but they're not enjoyable things to read about if you know what i mean but they're still really good books and yeah i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye